Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Aphrodite today for the A through Z series, and I am, uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, guys. I'm not looking forward to this one at all. I mean, Aphrodite's not hopeless, you know? There are some guardians, uh, there are some guardians that do worse than her, for sure. In fact, like, in the actual 1v1, like we talked about in the tier list yesterday, which I hope you guys enjoyed that tier list, by the way. I hope, I hope you guys, uh, didn't hate it, didn't hate me for it, you know? We tried our best. Let's get our get our bountiful bow going here. I don't know what relics I want. Hmm. Cause like I have my ult for his ult, obviously. But like, is that enough? I might just still end up going the beads anyways. Call it a day. Yeah, why not? Well, I think we'll probably go beads med. <clears throat> just spam our cooldowns, be as safe as possible. So yeah, anyways. We're playing Aphrodite, as you can tell, and uh, Afro, you know, you might, you might be able to guess, is a bit of a support character, if you will. Oh, is not really meant for the duels, the duel streets out here, but she's not hopeless either. She definitely does some damage, especially if you, you know, get some damage items online. Like, I'm probably going to end up going Book of Thought, a late Book of Thought this game, because it's arguably the highest damage I can get without going, like, maybe the Bancroft Street. And, um... First of all, the Bancroft's tree is only more damage if you're low HP, so there's that. You don't get the burst damage uh, when you're full HP. I don't really know what this guy's what this guy's plan is per se. Hopefully, he doesn't invade me. He definitely could. Definitely could. But also, another thing with the book is I'll never run out of mana, and on a character that has you know built-in sustain, uh, if you never run out of mana, you never run out of healing. So it's great. But expect this early game to be quite boring because I don't really think I could ever fight into a Poseidon early game. He's just too too beasty mode. This Poseidon ended up getting uh getting the red buff though. And only has one mana potion, so maybe, maybe, probably not. Don't get me wrong, probably not. But maybe there's a way he'll run out of mana and we can contest his blue buff here. Ugh. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, I didn't get that last one. Unforge. I'm just going to use my heal here. Just to heal. Why not? We just have to play super slow. Super duper slow. We're, we're literally waiting for this guy to run out of mana. That's like our only hope. The problem is, is just because he runs out of mana doesn't inherently mean that we can now get his blue buff. Because we have to clear this wave, right? I guess he backed. Dude, I have to focus on this minion, man. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna knock him back. Call it a day. We're perfectly safe here. He might ult us to pop our ult, but that's totally fine with me. I'm, like, trying to be a little aggressive in the early game. Which is, like, impossible to do on Aphrodite. At least in a matchup where they can insta-clear the wave and, you know, have better poke than you. Like, if I was against a character who had very bad early game wave clear, like, if I was against an Arachne, it may come as a surprise to some of you guys, but if I was against an Arachne, I could actually play up, for sure, I because I just have better clear than her, and I could do whatever I wanted. Also, we're not getting our stun here, just because, honestly, I just don't feel like we need it. I don't think it's going to help my clear much, because, honestly, Aphrodite Kiss, it didn't used to do damage, first of all, so I don't know if it does damage to minions or not um because it didn't used to do damage and i haven't tested it since then also this guy paused not me i, I didn't pause just to explain the aphrodite kiss i promise but um but yeah since they added damage to it it might also help you clear the wave but the thing is, is even if it does do damage to the minion wave i still don't think it's i still don't think it's more damage slash more beneficial than just putting points in the two or the three uh, i am going to get my kiss very soon because i want that stun to uh secure my birds for poke damage on him but right now, we're not really looking for poke damage, are we? We're kind of just trying to survive. Live our lives, huh? So. If I don't need the poke damage, and it's not going to be better wave clear for me, and I'm pretty safe, I don't really need the stun for self-peel, at least not right this moment, then why would I get it, right? And that's kind of the logic there. A lot of people ask me sometimes why I skip getting my ult on certain characters until, like, level 6 or something. And also, there are some characters where I just don't get an ability, like I'm doing right now, and people always ask about it, so I figured there's at least one person in the audience 
at least one person wondering why I'm not getting the kiss. And that's why I'll probably get it next level. I think level eight will be a pretty good level. Hopefully, in a perfect world, I'd be able to poke him here with my birds without the kiss. There we go. We got it. We have more sustain than he does. He didn't go bankrupt, so... Which isn't uh, isn't the biggest deal ever. I think he's trying to like match my cooldown, but I don't really know why, to be honest. We're kind of messing this dude up. Ooh. I'm gonna use my back off there because the uh, tower was about to shoot it. Oh, we're so slow. We hit him with that. That's good. See, like this right here, I regret not having my stun for. I did, but to be fair, this should never be happening. The only reason we're able to get him low like that and put and punish him like this a little bit is because he played super duper greedy. Like if he was playing smart, I maybe could have went in for the, the two there, but I was afraid he was going to beads it. But to be honest, I don't even know what I was afraid of because even if he beads us that, I don't really think he can do anything to stop me, you know? So, I mean, you know, maybe that was a maybe that was a missed opportunity, a missed kill there. I probably could have killed him. But I'm just I'm just like in this mindset of I want to play super passive early game because I'm Aphrodite and there's nothing I can do early, right? But like this guy's making so many misplays that I probably could have done something. Also, I should have I made a misplay there. I should have uh Okay, so at least now we know why he went Chronos Pendant. Classic dual player. <laughs> Typical dual player. Build CDR just so he can ult the, uh, ult the buffs more. I don't blame him, honestly, like, because a lot of Poseidons do that, but also he's against an Afro. Technically, I would just ult every one of his ults. So, like, you know, it, as, as weird as it is and as scummy as I want to call it, I don't blame him, honestly, because... This is one of those matchups where it's just like, why would I fight you? You know, you're just going to immune my Kraken and walk away. Why would I do that? Might as well just secure the farm on the map. So I understand. It makes sense. But if I wasn't Aphrodite or like if I was, you know, if I wasn't Changa or somebody that can just easily immune the Kraken every time, then I would, I would definitely be question marking this guy. All right, we're going to back up here. Go get our Book of Thoth. He has defense now, so we're resuming our never being able to fight him tactics. Because the only reason we were able to fight him earlier is because he was being incredibly greedy. And I'm pretty sure even if he's greedy with defense, we can't do anything. But, but we won't be able to, uh, or we won't be useless forever. That's for sure. We'll definitely be able to pump later. The question is, that doesn't mean we'll win. It means we'll have more potential later, but question is are we going to be able to outplay a Poseidon because one person might say well one might think that this is like an easy matchup for afro because you can ult the ult but here's the thing Poseidon's Kraken is not his ultimate ability high res lied to you Poseidon's trident is the ultimate ability so I wouldn't be surprised if late game I immune the Kraken and then just die because I took 2,000 damage from trident you know I would not be surprised at all if that happens to me Alright, we're gonna level our two over our ult, I believe. The ult does go up in uh, duration, which is very nice. But that's about all it does, so. Ooh, that DR though. He just completely whiffed this Kraken, okay. Okay. He popped his shard, interesting. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. He's I, my, the only analysis I can do about this is that he, I'm Aphrodite, so he he like he's Poseidon, a top tier dual character that gets to just run people down, and I'm Afro, so I think he just thinks he's a little, you know, tougher than he is, or maybe he doesn't think he's that tough. Maybe it's just he thinks Afro is weak, and she is kind of weak. Don't get me wrong, but like. <laughs> He's treating me like I'm Kepri, and Afro's not Kepri, okay? She's Afro, not Kepri. She's not a bug. She's a lady, and lady ladies do damage. Everyone knows that. Whether it's physical damage or to your mental health, you know, like well, <laughs> one way or another, they do damage, okay? Also, this guy went horrific. No way. Not a chance. I don't know whether I should level the the ult or the kiss. 
think I'm gonna look at that in just a moment here. Gonna get some defense online, also some CDR. We love those two things. We're gonna wait to get our second relic because we're actually probably gonna get a med or a sprint second. Sprint for the horrific. But we might get a med second, which is basically just a baby horn shard. You know, horn shard basically is med. This goes up in damage. I think I'll put one point in my ult so it's over a second long because before you put a point into it, or a second point rather, it's uh, not even a second. So I think I'll put it up to a second and then I'll start leveling the kiss, I think. How much do you really get though? CDR, that's nice. Movement speed, we don't get it in dual. Jealousy damage increase, I don't think you get it. I don't know. Let me let me check. Let me kiss him and see if I get jealousy damage. I don't th I don't think you get jealousy damage unless you're actually hooked up to somebody and then you both get it. I think I don't know. As you can tell, I'm not much of an Afro player. Like uh, <laughs> she's not really my god. One might say. Doesn't look like I got any any extra jealousy. That's just my passive, right? Yeah. I didn't get any jealousy damage. So maybe the kiss isn't as good as I thought. Maybe I should put one more point into the ult. Why not? Oh. He's hitting us with some spells here, but he's doing absolutely no damage to us because we just got our defense online. We do pretty fair damage to him, but nothing crazy because we don't have pen yet. Also, we don't even have a fully stacked Book of Thoth for that matter, so. We're not even fully online. All right, we're gonna back up here. Oh, he's going. I know I just said we don't have pen, and that's still true, but I kind of just want the poly. I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just have poly for extra damage in general than have pen to make my two abilities do more damage. Truth be told, I don't know which one's actually going to be, you know, the more DPS, but I just think that buying poly is more fun, a little bit more interactive, throw some autos, have some cool yellow numbers. So regardless of which one's actually mathematically better here, we're going to go poly because I want to. As you can see, I'm already weaving autos in between my combos. We're already nice and ready. That DR is so bad. I think it's. I think my two activates DR as well because it is CC technically. For those of you who don't know what DR is, it's diminishing returns. Basically, the the easiest and shortest way to explain it is when you CC an enemy god, your next CC, your next hard CC, is going to be reduced in duration to prevent stun locking, essentially. So, you know, you hit him with a one second stun, your next one is 0.7, you know? And the DR, D, the DR effect on them, if you're wondering how long you have to wait to wait it out to not have the reduced effect, it lasts for 15 seconds after the initial CC. So if I kiss him and then hit him with my two, I have to wait 15 more seconds before kissing and twoing again. Uh, if I want it to be not reduced anyways. Uh, another thing about Polly that I didn't mention is uh, I didn't need it in that situation, but I could have needed it there where the poly helps you secure buffs which is really nice it helps you poke objectives although we're not really at that point of this you know where we can actually push up and just hit his objectives just yet but it helps you push objectives and it helps you secure buffs and look it helps you clear the wave because you can poly the brute minion that big tanky boy up front so yeah there's some value to it i'd say to where you can get it before pin look at that 121 damage oh that's beautiful that's beautiful and when we get pen, that, that poly is obviously going to hit it pretty much harder. I don't know, much harder, but it's going to hit harder. We poly the brute minion. Come in here, kiss this guy. Oh, we didn't get our two off. Oof. The poly actually hindered us there. Also, I don't really know what his build is, I'm going to be honest. Um, I mean, I, I think going into lifesteal next is fine. Wait, what? I thought you could afro ult at any time. And maybe you can, and I'm just stupid. But what had happened there is I used my either my kiss or my three. I don't even remember. The point is, is I was in the animation of one of my abilities when he used the Kraken. So I couldn't press it until after the animation was over. I thought you could pop it at any time. And maybe you can. I don't know. But All right. Maybe, maybe we... Uh definitely don't need to be scared anymore we're kind of a beast now 
I mean, it's not even that we were scared. It was just that we knew our, you know, potential. And uh, if, if you don't have potential to get a kill, then what are you doing, right? All right, let's just hit this one time, see how much damage we can do. 52 poly. It's not bad, but it's not good either, that's for sure. All right, he's not on this. I'm just going to ignore him, to be honest. Uh, I think we got to go Divine next. It's not going to give us any percent pin, but it will prevent... I mean, I don't know. He's not stacking healing just yet. He just has the Typhons. He doesn't have multiple healing items just yet. So maybe we just go the Rod for more overall damage. If we go Divine last, that means we're only going to have 10% pin. I don't think that's the biggest of deals. 119 pro. I mean, like... I don't know. I don't think it's that bad to only have 10% pen because we kind of need the Divine, assuming he gives a little bit more healing. If he just has Typhons, I don't think Divine's really necessary. But there's no way he's just going to get Typhons, right? We should do a big damage. If we did that much damage before and we bought a full Rod to Hootie, we should do some big damage here. He just warded us. Which is interesting, to say the least. If we keep this blue buff on us, that means we have full cooldown, which is very nice. Because we technically only have 30% cooldown in the build. But I'm not worried about that because we always have a blue buff for the most part. And later on, even if we don't, we end up picking up the red. We will have a, red, uh, a power potion. So. Right, we're owning him. We're playing up. We're playing up. We're ulting this. Stunning. It's just that easy, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope he doesn't surrender. Not because I'm looking for the most competitive ever Afro game. It's more of just like, it'd be so an anticlimactic. I, I, I never know how to pronounce that word. I think I think I did it right that time, but I don't know. But it'd be super underwhelming that like if I'm just turtling the whole time, doing nothing, and then boom, I kill him once. Well, we killed him earlier, but oh well. I kill him once, and then do we just end the game off of it? Oof. We do get his phoenix, though. Certainly. Booyah! Oh, he's going a Magus on Poseidon. Oof. Maybe near the end of the video. Uh, maybe at the end, I'll tell you guys what I would have built if I were this Poseidon. Because I know you guys sometimes like comment on their builds, and I'm like, oof, I don't know about all that. And then I don't say what I would build, and you guys ask, okay, well, what should the Poseidon have went then? And I don't know if that's because you guys just want to know in general, or because you know some of you guys are like, wait a minute, that's what I build. Wait, is it, wait, that's bad. <laughs> I don't know, but either way, I'll assuming I don't forget, I might forget. But assuming I don't forget, I'll talk about what I would build on Poseidon. Cutie coming through. Wow. All right, how do I end his effort? I mean, I have a poly. I have sustain. I have a poly. There's definitely worse characters to end the game than Afro, for sure. And that's my ult. Dude, we own him. Oh, okay. I maybe could have killed him off of that. Maybe. Not sure. I feel like his horrific is like super useless. Ugh. Ugh. We're just trying to poke the titan, but we're also trying not to die as well. We don't want to die. I say as I'm just sitting in the whirlpool, <laughs> eating it. You're not getting away. Don't I mean, do we kill this titan? Do we kill him? He's playing so far back, I can't kill him. Nice, we got <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I think this is a pretty good Aphrodite recording. I mean, we were against the Poseidon. I, we didn't make too many misplays. We never died. We walked at him. We did big damage. I think our build was good. I mean, I think this is a good recording overall. Uh, like I said, since we literally just talked about it like two minutes ago, I didn't forget and I remembered that I wanted to talk about his build. 
Um, I feel sorry. Like sometimes people want to talk to me in this aftermatch lobby. I don't know if he will or not, but I kind of like have stuff to go over, you know. Uh, actually, what I'm going going to do though is I'm going to pull up my volume mixer and then mute smite so that way I don't have to listen to the background noise while I, ex I explain this. Rip, GG. All right, he doesn't want to have a full conversation. He's just saying rip. Uh, anyways. So, so what I would have built on Poseidon, I don't know about the start, honestly. You can go Kronos Pinnet or Bancrofts. Either one's fine, to be honest, because I would end up building both of them in the build regardless. So just a quick little thing. My build, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, right? I just built Power, CDR, and Poly. I mean, you know, I think my build is pretty normal. I don't think I need to explain it too much, but if you don't understand and you need help, uh, just put a comment down below, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely hit you back and let you know what I would have built. Oops, not this. Um... All right, so honestly, like I said, you could go Bancroft's or Kronos Pendant Star. It doesn't really matter. Let's just put the Kronos Pendant there. Boom, I would have went Kronos Pendant into this, into this, into probably some anti-heal because I was I was an Aphrodite. And then what, what are we lacking here? Uh, we're not really lacking much, but we could use some more pen for sure. Uh, so I'd probably go a Rod of the Hootie. Boom. And then... Uh, actually, we're kind of lacking CDR a little bit, so I would probably go Chronos Pendant into Rata Tahuti. So not much different than the Afro build, uh, not too much. It's just we don't have a book and we have a Bancrofts. Pretty much is the main difference. Um, as well, we don't have a Poly. So what what item did I replace for Poly? Uh, Typhons. Oh yeah, we didn't have either one of the life cell items. Duh, on Afro. But this is what I would have built probably. Uh, what relics would I have went against an Aphrodite? Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I would say beads and then a hasten sprint. I'm going to make sure to put the hasten sprint on here because, hold on. Because, because some people would ask, why do you want sprint versus Afro? Well, you don't really need sprint. You want hasten sprint. You want the haste. That's what you want. Um, other options is if you just wanted to PVE her and simply just run around and be in a, a nuisance, I mean, you could go Bracer. Bracer gives movement speed, all that good stuff. Um, you could also just, you know, get your typical shell, but I would probably do this, to be honest, and just try to run her down, immune her knockback or her kiss or both, and then run her down with the uh, hastened because you can't kill her with the ult because she has her ult. So you'd probably just crack in to try to get her to use her ult, and then you would kill her with your trident, like I talked about in the beginning of the video. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tier list yesterday. If you haven't seen that, feel free to check it out. It's a video from yesterday. I uh, appreciate you guys clicking on the video and watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.